morning. So day one, 10 a.m. right now, and today I'm going to drive from Venice to Cortina di Ampezzo. This place needs a drone. Let's get the drone out a bit. I just hope no police around. Let's get it out. Well, driving on Italian roads is super confusing, at least in the city. So many lines you have to see in the video. I had to take around for at least 10-15 minutes to find out the exact way because the both GPS like Saijik and Google Maps both are confused which way I need to exit to get into the motorway. Man, super confusing at least for the city, but once you're on the motorway, it's nice. And the max speed limit for the motorway, the highway is like 130 km per hour. Pretty neat. Went ahead and did some shopping, so energy drinks ready. Let's drive. Done with the first 100 kilometers, almost crossed Belluno, I guess. And the roads from Venice still Belluno, it's motorway, it's highway, but after Belluno, it gets so tricky. <sighs> Tough roads, I know. And you have to see this place. God damn, look at those tall mountains. I guess I took the road from this, 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 this. Had to do a lot of, god damn, so many corners. Bikers are going to love it. Maybe that is the reason I've been seeing a lot of bikers. Ducati, I mean, uh, Italy is the home to Ducati, Aprilia, and like you see a Ducati in every corner of the city. There are issues in Italian roads. First, there is no signboard in English. I don't know why they think everyone knows Italian. Like all of the signboards on the road, it's in Italian. You don't see an English signboard. I had to set my alerts on on the Saijik map. And the second big issue is the toll roads. I haven't been more than more, I guess, 120 kilometers. I have already paid more than 1000 or 1200 rupees just for the toll. And another 1000 or 1200 kilometers more to go. Man, this is expensive and the toll are so confusing. Ek mein ek 
आ, शायद एक टिकट निकलता है आपको फिर जाके वो उठेगा फिर आपको निकलना है फिर सेकंड में वही टिकट आपको घुसाना है फिर वो टेन और ट्वेंटी यूरो देना है फिर उसके बाद और एक टिकट लेना है लाइक यू हैव टू हैव ए टोल आई मीन टोल सिस्टम विच इज एटलीस्ट कॉमन तीन टोल गए तीनों टोल में मेरे को पीछे वाले को पूछना पड़ा एंड वो फिर इटालियन में वाह done with the first 200 kilometers or 180 kilometers i guess and been struggling with one thing since morning it's way too complex or impossible to find a saucharaya here in italy not a single saucharaya break for last 100 kilometers i guess because not a single saucharaya been found yet Finally found a Mutralayo. Had some food as well. More 30 or 40 kilometers to go. And man, so many sweet little villages have been crossed during this route of last 180 kilometers. Just look at this small one. Village or town, whatever you call. And right beside it, huge mountains. Looks so big. And this is like. wallpaper thing wow sick Twenty or thirty kilometers to go. Last twenty kilometers has been so many zigzag corners. We, pura mane chakri sappo road. Ha! So finally, after climbing the mountain for more than last twenty minutes, I see a lot of snow. See that? Look at that huge peak. Looks so good. More 15 kilometers to reach the hotel, and last 100 kilometers. Man, Italian roads are tough to drive. It's the heaven for motorcyclists and bikers, for for cars. Tough, super tough. Ha! <sighs> and across a lot of small towns: Belluno, Salva di Cador, Malga, Labaredo, Labarino, Benezzo, Italiano. <laughs> lot of them and everything looks so lonely i felt like i was the only one who was driving today this route anyways so let's drive and reach the hotel have some wood then we'll talk more
Few more kilometers to go to reach the hotel. Been fighting with this snow like 10 feet of snow. You have to see this. 8 or 10 feet, easily 8 or 10 feet. Man, but look at this peak. right now or 5 30 pm i guess finally reached the hotel and that's my hotel for the night everything just looks so good and neat let me take you on a tour of the hotel room okay room tour room tour room tour so that's my room for the day table to edit bed to sleep this for you know that should be it. Food is ready, bags ready, got to go copy stuff. Then we'll sit and edit. Need to go for a small hike right now. It's 7 p.m. right now and you can see that. It's almost sunny, sun is out. Here the sunset happens somewhere around 8.30 p.m. odd. Yeah, I know, 8.30, it's pretty weird. Anyways, so I will see you guys tomorrow.